Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to the Hon 1 2023 Grand Prix, the season finale at Abu Dhabi. Now, obviously, this track brings back bad memories. I'm not going to lie. I mean, just every time I hear the words of Abu Dhabi, all I can think about is that Australian wanker, Michael Massey. Oh, dear me. But this track, i got to say, since they've removed the chicane, it's definitely improved a bit for overtaking, because that chicane really prevented overtaking. But obviously, yeah, now the chicane's gone, and that very corner, bad memories, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the end of the season. 2023 season going into this weekend you know obviously red bull they've won every race this season bar one so if they win this weekend at abby dabby it means they've won every grand prix bar one just like what happened to mclaren in the 1980s or something they won every race apart from one so right red bull i believe they'll be favorites you know max will probably win then Sergio Perez he looking to finish off the season strong. He's got that P two secured which to me papers the cracks really because he's in very poor Sergio Perez in some ways he's in very lucky to get that P two. Then Mercedes obviously they'll be looking to beat my team Ferrari to that second place. But I believe momentum really is with my team. I believe we can get that P two. I hope so anyway. I think on current form, we definitely deserve that P2. Considering where we were at the start of the season, where I said after Silverstone, just write this season off. The second half of the season, we've been sensational, which, big good turnaround. And whatever happens on Sunday, you've got to be pleased at how Ferrari performed in the second half of the season. You really have. And also... That win in Singapore as well, which was outstanding because that means Red Bull could not get 100% records this season. So, yeah, but I hope we get that V2. I think mean, we deserve it. George Russell, look, he needs a strong weekend. He's not been good enough this season. Only one podium this season. I mean, that is nowhere near good enough by George Russell. It really isn't. My driver, Lewis Hamilton, obviously, he'll have bad memories coming back here, but hopefully he can have a strong weekend. Alpine, frog legs and baguette legs. Now, I heard baguette legs, Ocon, has been feeling a bit unwell. He's better today, but he's not going to be at the truck. So, be interesting to see if he takes part in practice or not, but hopefully baguette legs is okay. Frog Legs has had a good season, Gasly at Ocon, uh, Gasly at Alpine. First season at Alpine for Frog Legs Gasly, he's done a superb job. Aston Martin, be interested to see how they perform. You know, Stroll's been impressive for the last two races, so he'll be looking for a third good race in a row. And obviously, Fernando Alonso be looking to finish this season very strongly indeed. Alpha Terry, now, what can they do? They weren't good in Las Vegas, so now be looking for a very strong weekend. Alpha Mayo, obviously, they're still in the crucial battle with Williams Haas, you know, from that P7 in the constructors. So Alpha Mayo be looking to perform well. Bottas, he had a good qualifying Vegas, so had his race ruins. Guan Yu Zhou. Is by an average, really. That's the myth. It has, obviously, Kanga Magnussen and Mick, no, not fuck sakes, Nico Hulkenberg and Kanga Magnussen, they'll be looking to get Haas as high up as possible because it looks like they may finish last in the constructors, which that's not good to Haas. It really isn't. And I do worry for them a bit what the future is going to look like perhaps because they've not looked great recently and finally on to williams who are in charge in that p7 they are in charge of their own 
destiny. They just need to bring the points home. If they can get both cars in the points, that'd be absolutely sensational. Now, I'm expecting Williams to go well here because there's lots of straight lines and Williams are very fast in a straight line. Obviously, I'm expecting Alex Albon to beat Logan Sargent, but if both of the Williams can get points, that'd be just outstanding. It really will. So comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. Join me on Saturday for the race with you. Sunday for the race with you. Now, I won't be able to watch the race live because I'm going to my first ever ladies football game in Bristol to watch Bristol City ladies versus Manchester United ladies. So very much looking forward to that. Witness a different atmosphere, but I'll catch up with the race later on during the day. Then Monday, for joint ratings and team ratings, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Another season of F1 is drawing to a close. Thank goodness this one-sided season is over. But i got to admit that the midfield battle has been outstanding. I loved it. That's been the most exciting bit for me this season. Bye-bye.